Hello guys, Kaylee here. I am um, preparing for this meeting to start. We've got local um, school district officials um, here. We've got superintendents, assistant superintendents, treasurers, kind of all all things from multiple school districts. We've got mommy schools here, um, Springfield schools, Toledo Public Schools. Um, just to talk about this state voucher program that we have, it's nothing new. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's called EdChoice. Um, but today they're coming together to explain um, and talk about, express their concerns kind of with this um, voucher program because there have been changes to the wording within the program that has now kind of expanded the amount of schools in Lucas County and um, also a few schools in Wood County um, that these schools now, more schools are um, under this voucher program uh, recognized as um, underperforming is, is what the word that they, they use in the Ed Choice um, pamphlet that they have. Um, what about Fulton County's? Um, I have the list and I can um, I can post that. Um, I can also uh, send the link in there for Fulton counties on all of the schools that they have for the 2020-21 school year that is designated as an underperforming school. Um, but essentially what happened is that these, uh, these changes are uh, allowing more schools to um, be underperforming and um, the students within these schools will, uh, are able to, through this voucher program, are able to go to private schools and that funding um, from the public school with this voucher program will follow the student to a private school. Um, there's a lot of stuff within this EdChoice program, so uh, I will kind of delve into that a little bit later, but all these public officials are getting ready to meet in about, um, five, 10 minutes um, and kind of express their concerns, how it's going to affect uh, their school districts, how it's going to affect their schools, how it's going to um, it, it affect their funding. Um, so they kind of want to come together and figure out ways to possibly change, find out ways that, that this can um, help their schools positively and their students. Um, we've got, I'm gonna turn the camera around real quick. So we've got them just kind of all coming in right now. Uh, there's no one right there, but we've got we've got Dr. Katie Anstad right here, Washington Local Schools. Um, Dr. Durant is uh, somewhere in the corner. I saw him. So um, this is kind of a big big deal for especially these school districts and superintendents because some of these schools have never even been on the ed choice list and um this year because of how how this uh wording has changed and um how they're considering this these schools uh have more schools than they've ever had before or have schools that they never even had um before at all yes springfield is here we're actually at springfield local schools administrative building right now um and the meeting is going to start pretty soon uh yeah anthony wayne does have uh anthony wayne local schools has uh i think it's two schools on it this year um i will in in my five and six o'clock report kind of go into uh detail on the number of schools from the last two years to how many it is this year um when i was looking on the ohio um, Ed Choice website. The number of schools specifically in Lucas County um, that are under Ed Choice now for the 2020 2021 school year is 57 schools. There are now 57 schools that are designated as underperforming in Lucas County. So um, we will prepare to get started. Um, kind of stay tuned. I will go into uh, detail on what happens within this meeting and um, what these changes are within the Ed Choice uh, designation list. Um, so I will show you guys kind of what's about to start, what's about to happen. We've got everyone preparing to sit down and we will get started pretty soon. So that's all I've got for you guys. Um, I will explain more in the 5 and 6 p.m. shows tonight. Bye.